Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're checking out the Argos 4 Pro security camera. Now this is 180 degrees field of view camera. So you can see it all from the right and left. And one more thing, very, very important. It's actually battery powered, so it's completely wireless. It is actually recording right now and it records audio and it records two streams of 1440p video, making it according to real link 4K right there. Now I've got the solar power package so that means it can actually be powered using a solar panel and i have been testing this out all day nighttime and daytime to give you some sort of insight on the quality and how it works and i gotta say first up nighttime quality it is very 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 good i can actually see in the dark yo and this is what it looks like on my s24 ultra and it's capturing 15 frames a second right there so you can actually see what's going on you could probably use it as some sort of nighttime camera to actually see what's going on at night. I might actually do that. That'd be giving me my next project. Maybe put it on a boat, see what it's like at night time. But yeah, it's very, very good quality. It even comes with a floodlight. So there is lights that can beam and get a bit more vision. If you are attaching it on the pole at the top and you can look down, you can see what's going on. So at nighttime, as you can see the spotlight is running. You can choose how bright you want it. That's what it looks like gives a little bit more brightness to the scene. So I've got to say nighttime quality is very, very, very good. Daytime quality, again, excellent. Wait a minute, the micro SD card is just there. You mean we could just steal it? Very, very good for a security camera, 180 degrees field of view. It's got lots of AI intelligence in there, so it can detect people, cars, and animals, and you can play around with sensitivity in the app. So you can choose 90%, 80%, 100%, all that kind of stuff. And it's even got a space at the bottom over here. So you can plug in an SD card, so it can go ahead and record everything that it can see. And if you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as, for example, your NAS drive, you can have it upload data using the FTP protocol, so you upload straight to your servers. So you don't even need that micro SD card if you've got it connected up to your network, so that's pretty good. Now, regarding the tests that I've got, so I've tested it overnight and there was no sun overnight and it lost 10% of power. So that's wow. All right. So I left this about 12 hours overnight recording and we have lost only 10% battery life. I did have it also 100% sensitivity, but there wasn't much happening. I think it got maybe six recordings in total, two in the morning, two at nighttime and two in between when I was moving it about. So that's all right. I did have the lights turned on because I couldn't. I mean, I preferred it without the floodlights. I like the quality of the night vision as well because it just looks good as is. But now I'm going to plug in the solar panel and just see how fast the battery charges up. Throughout the day, it lost another 5% from 10 a.m. all the way to 4 p.m. I did have the solar panel plugged oh. in. Settings. It's actually at, all right, that's a surprise. It's actually at 87%, so it's lost 3% power. So I'll have to do a longer test to see if I can actually get it charging up using the solar panel. It's definitely powering the camera using the solar panel, but it was a bit of discharge. As you can see here, it's been pretty much recording very often, pretty much non-stop for the past few hours. I did have the sensitivity up also up to 100%. I did lower it down to 90% and then 8%, but I was still losing power. So maybe you have to, um, maybe in my case throughout the day, there's a lot of construction happening, lots of things happening over there. So it constantly was detecting motion. Maybe if I reduced sensitivity. So if you look here, it was pretty much just recording the whole scene just nonstop over and over and over again. I think um, maybe it's the construction works, but probably it was the clouds. So maybe if I put in a mask, which you can do, for it to ignore the sky, then it probably wouldn't have recorded every single second and then the battery life probably would have been fine. It would have charged up. It does say on the solar panel here that it provides 5.8 watts of power. So it should have more than enough to charge this guy up. So I have to do some more tests. So feel free to leave a comment in the comments section below. Ask me how it's working. If I manage to fix it, I'll let you know. Other issues I had was with the SD card actually. When I took it out of the device and I put it onto my Mac, the Mac wouldn't recognize the SD card. Wow, look at it right there. The disc attached was not readable by this computer. Mac. However, on Windows, yes, I'm running Windows on Mac, what's up? On Windows, I can access all of the files. So I was able to copy all the files from there onto my computer using Windows. However, when I plugged it back into the Argos 4 Pro, it required a format for it to work again. So that's probably a bug that they'll fix over there. 
All right, so this is the Argus 4 Pro and it has a solar panel kit. Need help your product? We are here for you. Instructions as well as these are very, very useful for security as a deterrent. You have a sticker on there. It might scare people. The solar panel, the mount. And finally, this is the security camera. Look at it. This gives you 180 degrees of a vision. It looks very beautiful. Looks like a, a robot from the future. So inside the package, you get two mounts. I guess they are technically uh, interchangeable because they do have the same size thread. But this one is made for the camera itself. And it's a nice small bulbous one. And it gives you a nice multitude of movement over there. And you can also screw it in to mount it securely. And this one over here, the longer one, this one is made for the solar panel. So you screw that one in around the back and this will allow you to also angle the panel what's most effective towards the sun to get charged up a little bit faster. So you get two mounts and that is a pretty cool solution right there. I like it. Now to charge the camera around the back here, there's a USB port and all you do is either charge it up and then let it do its magic using the battery or you can have it constantly charged using the solar panel. So you just need to make sure that the USB-C connector is plugged all the way in to make sure it's weather sealed still. And what's also cool is you do get an extra strap right here. So if you want to strap it around the pole, for example, you can do it following the instructions. So the first thing I'm going to do to get it up and running is I'm just going to plug in a regular USB charger here and get the battery charged up. Regarding setup, it's very, very easy setup. You pretty much just take a picture of the QR code and it is up and running for you to play with. One thing that I didn't like about it is that even though it's a Wi-Fi direct device, I always had to talk to the Rinlink servers in order to get it set up and going. Once it was set up, I was able to connect to it directly, but most of the times it does require going through the Rinlink servers itself. So if you're looking for a completely maybe private situation, you probably want to figure out some sort of firewalling to stop it doing that, phoning home. But if you're just looking for it to work, I guess having the extra security and support from Reolink would help. So you can figure the Wi-Fi connection via Bluetooth first. So it says here that the device isn't meant to run 24 hours a day. It will only run when it detects motion or you logged in to view what's happening. And there you go. That's the stream right there. You get loads of different settings. So you got a siren. So make an alarm when it detects motion. Let's try it out. That's pretty cool. So overall, what do you guys think of the Reolink Argos 4 Pro? I've got to say, very, very excellent quality at nighttime. I like it. And the fact that you can run it and potentially charge it using solar panels and have it running through the battery through the day, that is excellent. I do like the way of the future. Let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show.